Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, you're watching BTEC to unbazzle Sony Xperia Z5 Compact. We had the prototype version when we ran all our other tests. Now that we've got the final version, the one thing that eluded us, a benchmark, is within our reach. So we can quickly open up and tutu for you and show you exactly how this thing stacks up on paper. Before I do, Inside, under the hood, you have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor. This is paired with two gig of RAM. It only has a 720p display, so not too crazy. Weirdly, Antusi says there's an eight megapixel rear camera, but we all know that's a 20 megapixel rear camera on there. 32 gig internal memory. It really should benchmark really well, given the fact the screen is putting less pressure on it than 1080 and Quad HD displays, which is what that processor is used to dealing with. But I'm going to stop talking and we can take a look to see exactly how it fares. And that's the benchmark done. So we <laughs> got an amazing score actually. Anyone who knows Antutu knows anything over 50,000 is pretty ace. This actually scored a whopping great big 65,307. That's really, really awesome. So better than the OnePlus 2, better than pretty much any other phone aside from the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge and the Note 5 as well with their Exynos chipsets. So that's really good going. If we were to jump into the details, I can pan in closer and you can see multitasking performance was 8,800 runtime, 4,100 um, CPU integer, 7,600 CPU float point, 5,400 um, single thread integer, 2,370 single thread float point, 2,060 odd RAM operation, 2,800 um, RAM speed, 4,400 2D graphics, 1,600 3D graphics, 22,800 roughly. Um, storage I.O. 2554 and database I.O. 710. So like I said, really impressed. Hopefully real world use will translate. Um, but one thing's for sure, it looks like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 under the hood isn't underclocked like crazy, just as with older generations of it to compensate for that heat um, or whatever reason Qualcomm had. Hopefully that was useful. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. If you like BTEC in general, subscribe. And of course, that's how you're gonna stay on top of everything we do. A lot more stuff on this phone right here. Thanks for watching. SD and a micro SIM slot. So this is going to be expandable by 200 gigabytes, which is mightily impressive. 32 gig onboard memory, 3.5 mil headphone jack. This is going to also be compatible with a set of headphones that Sony is going to be releasing, which allows for both digital noise cancellation and high resolution audio all at the same time. Around the back, it's a new camera sensor, 23 megapixels. And what's really awesome about this is that it combines a new focus system with a range of other things to make it a